All right, guys, thanks for joining me again. And today we'll be doing something a little special where we'll be changing the VIN number and a CAS module. So, and the tool that we'll be using today will be the CG Pro right here. So that's the CG Pro. That's the software right here, CG Pro. So, today we're gonna do something a little different. So, I'll be showing you how you're gonna change the VIN number in the CAS module. Okay, so we go over here and we go to BMW and you go down to VIN right here there we go so now all you got to do now is just you got cast one cast two cast three and cast four so it doesn't matter if it's a cast three plus once you have the, the proper EEPROM file you're able to change it so today we're gonna go to open Now we're going to look for that EEPROM file. Hold on. I think we put it in desktop. So now we got to find that file. Okay, so this is a 2006 BMW CAS3. So we're gonna open that file. And there we go. So that's the file right there. Over here, that's the current VIN that's on the CAS module. And to your right, right here, the problem today okay here we go okay so today right there you're gonna type you're gonna start to type the new VIN number so as you see I could type W B A V D and you could just keep typing the new VIN number then after you type it you gotta save it and it's gonna create a new file. And once you upload the cast, it's automatically gonna identify it. So if it's a CAS1, CAS2, CAS3, or CAS4, it's automatically gonna identify it. And then you see where it says VIN, that's the current VIN that's gonna be on the CAS module. And then it says new VIN. So you're gonna type the new VIN number. So once you type that new VIN number, is you're gonna save the file right here where it says save file. And then once you save that file, you're gonna write it back via EEPROM to the CAS module. And then that's gonna change the VIN permanently. So once you put the CAS module back to the car and you hook up whatever tool you're gonna to use to code it, it's gonna detect the correct VIN number for the car. And then it's gonna code the car directly based on the VIN number. So it's gonna call the car back, you know, to the original factory software. So that's how you could change a VIN number in a CAS module, CAS1, CAS2, and CAS3. So like I said, first you gotta read the EEPROM file. You got multiple tools that could read EEPROM file. As example, you got the VVDI prog, which reads EEPROM files, so that's pretty good at reading, you know, EEPROM files from BMW CAS module, guys. So if you want to change a VIN and a CAS module via EEPROM, this is the way you do it. All right, guys, have a good day, and thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs up, guys. Thank you.